We're celebrating International Day of Women and Girls in Science. We've been talking to female astronomers from around the SKA world. I study neutral hydrogen in dwarf galaxies. I'm investigating magnetic fields in our galaxy. I studied everything from galactic supernova remnants to high velocity clouds in the Milky Way. I chose a career in astronomy because my grandmother used to take me outside and show me the night sky when I was a very small child. We used to sit outside and look at the stars. I found the sky so beautiful and I wanted to understand what was behind such a beauty. I remember my mother explaining to me how the day and night worked and how the eclipses worked with a globe, um, a tennis ball and a torch. Uh, I've always loved math and science because of the ability to solve any problem that you're given. I was particularly fascinated by physics for its insight in, into the workings of nature. I wanted to understand a bit more about the big questions uh, in life. So how is the universe built up? What are we made of? I get to work with some of the brightest minds in the world um, using some of the largest and newest telescopes like ASCAP and soon to be the SKA. We get to ask big questions about the universe. So things like how do galaxies form? The thrill of making a breakthrough that allows you to discover some secret of nature, something new, unique. Science is more like being a detective. You're trying to make sense of some part of the world around you based on evidence. You're putting the clues together to solve the mysteries. I guess to have more confidence in myself and my abilities. When you come to a male-dominated industry like this, uh, I think confidence goes a, a, a long way. Really look at the different exciting careers that are available. There's a whole spectrum of science out there. Think of like environmental studies, think of machine learning and robotics, think of microbiology, astronomy, there's so many things. No matter what your background is, it's to always pursue what your dreams are. With your whole heart. Don't be disappointed or discouraged by others. Always ask questions. There's no ask, uh, question too dumb to be asked. Seek out others who share your interests, especially in the form of mentors. Try to be yourself as much as possible, because uh, this work is not done only by equations and antennas, but also by persons. I definitely had some very inspirational teachers along the way. I had a really great physics teacher, Mr. Mani, and I think for the first time he showed me that physics could be really fun and really enjoyable, as well as being really interesting. I think you can be your own role model. I think you can be driven and passionate about something within yourself and take that forward in your career. The gender balance is a huge issue in astronomy and in general in science in the world. And years ago, I think it was worse by then, but I would like to be a role model for other people. Science as a field needs a diverse um, group of people. So as a woman, as a young girl, you don't have to change or become somebody different to be in science. You can tackle it the way you are. In future, big science projects like the SKA will hopefully produce more diverse role models for people to look up to who want to study in STEM fields in the future. Being part of a bigger team uh, of experts like the SKA with different backgrounds helps you not, not to be an isolated researcher but actually being part of something bigger. You get to work with people all around the world who are doing cutting edge research and technology development to advance human knowledge. And we have an amazing diverse workforce which is really great fun to work with. It gives me an opportunity to interact with many different people, so to work with engineers and software people, and I learn a lot by doing this. Every day is a learning curve, and I guess that's what makes it so exciting, that everybody's here to just absorb as much knowledge as they can. SKA will be a game changer. It will make breakthroughs in our understanding. The next generation instruments that will turn what it is now impossible into possible. The largest ever radio astronomy project so it's, it's, it's amazing to be part of, of it. A huge step forward for astronomy and I'm, I'm absolutely glad of being part of it.